What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, the first Iron Banner of Season of Defiance has just gone live within Destiny 2, and it brings some new loot to chase. Specifically, two old weapons are getting re-added back into the loot pool with all new perks. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at their PvE and PvP god rolls to determine if they're worth going after. Is Iron Banner really worth the grind this season? Well, let's find out. So the two new weapons are firstly the Yoram's Claw Legendary Energy Pulse Rifle, and then we have the Bite of the Fox Legendary Kinetic Snipe Rifle. Again, if you're a veteran player, you may have heard of these. In fact, you may still have some in your vault, but again, they have all new perks this season. So let's start here with the Yoram's Claw. So, this is a solar 390 rounds per minute adaptive frame archetype. Generally, the stats are quite good, with it boasting higher range than most other energy pulses of this archetype, actually tying the third axiom. Now moving on to the perks, in terms of the barrels, it is generally what we've come to expect. Uh, look for more range, more stability mainly, or you could go with recoil control from something like Arrowhead Break. Now the second perk slot, it is more of the same. You want, you know, something like Appended or Extended for PvE, and then High Cal Ricochet Rounds for the stats for PvP. Moving on from there, the first main perk column, we have Outlaw for Reload, we have Offhand Strike, we We've got Iron Grip for a massive boost to stability, we've got Gut Shot Straight, which isn't very good, we've got Encore here, we've got Moving Target, then in the second perk category, you've got Head Seeker for the consistency, you've got Kill Clip for the damage boost, Iron Reach for a huge boost to range, you've got Frenzy for a damage increase, Golden Tricorn for a damage increase, and lastly, Incandescent. So when we're looking at the God Rolls, what do you want? Well, for PvP, I think generally you are going to want something like Kill Clip. Uh, this archetype of Pulse Rifle benefits greatly from a damage increase. It makes it go from a three burst kill to a two burst kill, and when that's happening, your time to kill is amazing. So, Kill Clip, technically, a Golden Tricorn might be able to function uh, in the same way. And then you're really pairing that with, uh, you know, something like moving target so you can strafe faster. Honestly, Encore, I've heard, has gotten a lot better since I think it was buffed. Even Iron Grip, like massively boosting that stability and only sacrificing reload speed is another great choice here to pair that with. And then just go ricochet rounds, you know, hammer forged or arrowhead, whatever barrel you want. And you've got a pretty solid pulse rifle overall for PvP. Now for PvE, things get a little bit more interesting because Incandescent is one of the best PvE perks in the entire game, no doubt, especially when it comes to ad clearing. However, there's becoming more and more weapons with Incandescent. I mean, last year you could have got the Jurassic Green from the Halloween event that had subsistence plus Incandescent and that was a rapid fire frame pulse. So generally, this being a slower shooting archetype and really having not much to pair in the first perk slot other than Outlaw. I think Outlaw is just the only thing worthwhile in terms of PvE, means that Outlaw plus Incandescent is kind of just an average roll. Same with Outlaw plus Golden Tricorn, Outlaw plus Frenzy, Outlaw plus Kill Clip. You could really do any of those things and they're all going to give you the same result. A pretty good weapon. But that's really all this thing gets to is pretty good for both PvE and PvP. Because guys, frankly, there's quite a lot of adaptive frame pulse rifles out there. So if you're a veteran player, I would imagine you probably have one with Kill Clip sitting there in your vault ready to go. Is this one that much better than the one in your vault? Well, probably not. Unless you do get a roll with Iron Grip, giving it much more stability and therefore flinch resistance than most of its competition. And that's that Iron Grip plus Kill Clip might be the role worth going after, the role that's different than other pulse rifles of this archetype. Now, moving on from there, guys, we have the Bite of the Fox Legendary Kinetic Sniper Rifle. Now, this is a 72 rounds per minute aggressive frame archetype, and the stats are very average for what you can expect with this archetype. Uh, generally, though, it has the same zoom as the Silicon Neroma, but less aim assistance. So it's nothing that really, really stands out here. Moving on from there to the perks, 
There are some interesting options though. So in terms of the barrel, generally you're looking for either range for that accuracy, a stability for flinch resistance, or handling for swap speed and ADS speed. Then in that second column here, guys, Acura's rounds is probably what you're going for for PVP, appended or extended for PVE, and that's pretty much it. The first main perk slot, we do have snapshot sights for better ADS speed, PVP all-star, rapid hit for reload, firmly planted, so crouching gives you a big boost to accuracy. We've got a slick draw here with uh, target acquisition, no distractions to reduce flinch, Envious Assassin, a new one to massively increase the magazine size. And then we've got Explosive Payload, we've got Moving Target, we've got Opening Shot for massive accuracy and range in the first shot of an attack, Vorpa Weapon for Boss Deeps, we have Under Over here, which is an interesting one, and we have Iron Gaze. Now this is really interesting, this is going to give you plus 20 aim assistance at the cost of 30 range. We really haven't seen this before on a sniper rifle, and I really don't know what to make of this. Because frankly, you want both of these stats, aim assistance and range, but definitely because it's the first time ever this is appearing on a sniper, it could be worth getting a roll to just try out. But aside from that, when we're talking about a PvP god roll, I mean, you can get something like Hammer Forge for range, Accurize for even more range, firmly planted for the accuracy here, and then opening shot for more range and accuracy. I mean, you go and slide around the corner, you can basically close your eyes, and you're gonna have so much accuracy and bullet magnetism from all those things combining that it's going to give you a guaranteed headshot, pretty much. Like, that is a pretty insane combination this thing is capable of getting. But, you know, snapshot sights. Some people live or die by this perk on sniper rifles. They won't even use rolls that don't have snapshot sights. Especially if you're sniping aggressively, going snapshot plus opening shot would also be fantastic. Heck, even no distractions plus opening shot would also be good. You know, you could even incorporate moving target, but I do think opening shot is the best overall perk in the second column for PvP. But honestly, again, like there is some absolutely high tier PvP sniper rolls this thing can get. Now, in terms of PvE, I think it's clearly Envious Assassin. You know, get some kills with another weapon, and especially if you have something like Appended or Extended to have a four-round magazine, and heck, if you have, you know, the mod to increase the magazine size even further, like, you can, with Envious Assassin, double the magazine size or more, so suddenly you're going into a damage phase combined with Vorpal Weapon, and you've got, you know, a 10, 12, or more round magazine in in your sniper. That is undoubtedly impressive, guys, but the secession from the Deepstone Crypt can do that, frankly, even better and more reliably because of reconstruction and you don't need to get kills beforehand. So again, it's another case of this is a weapon that can undoubtedly get some great rolls. But if you're a veteran player, we've seen plenty of aggressive frame snipers with fantastic rolls. And this one doesn't have as good of stats as compared to some other uh, weapons out there that compete with it. So, if you can get an absolute god roll, it might be the best, you know, sniper that you have, but again, this weapon is, for the most part, similar to the pulse rifle, where it's not doing anything super special, other than the fact that it has iron gaze. Uh, it might be going after just for that, in case uh, this is doing something amazing and people are swearing by it in terms of getting that massive increase to aim assistance. Guys, that is going to cover the God Rolls. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.